Hi, I'm Allie Ludy with the Angus Report. Unveiled in 2012, Certified Angus Beef's Culinary Center is a place of innovation and discovery. The culinary team shares their expertise with visitors, demonstrating creative ways to cook cuts of beef. And the chefs here certainly won't let you leave hungry. I'm actually born and raised in Worcester, Ohio. Um, I wanted to be a chef forever, so right out of high school, I moved down to Orlando, Florida to start school at uh, Le Cordon Bleu Culinary College. While attending school, I met Gordon Ramsay, um, and he actually wanted to put me on a TV show he was doing at the time called Master Chef. So I landed a spot on that show, which took me out to Los Angeles, and then I ended up staying in Los Angeles for about four years. I graduated from the Cordon Bleu in Hollywood and moved back home to work for the Certified Angus Beef brand about five years ago. At the Culinary Center with Certified Angus Beef, we love kind of giving everybody a full beef experience when they come to the center. The first thing I learned when I was hired by Certified Angus Beef was that using the whole animal is so important. I really feel like we owe it to the animal. Um, you know, we love we love what this animal gives us, and we love what um, the ranchers do all over the place for us. And it's only proper that we try and find a way to make everything as enjoyable as a New York strip steak or a ribeye. There's not a lot of utilization and creativity out there with beef unless it's coming from us. So it's really important that we take pride in what we do and we take pride in where it starts and where it starts is the most important. Being from a small town really kind of played um, to my favor a couple years ago when I was found on social media by Food Network as um, the Beef Maven. So they call me the Meat Maven on social media and they wanted to put me on the show called Chopped. So I bravely um, accepted the challenge to compete on Chopped and what they allowed me to do was talk about the brand. And it was really, really special to be able to kind of represent us and our community um, out there grilling a really good piece of beef. I'm really proud to have worn the logo and been able to talk about Certified Angus Beef on Food Network. It's been less than a decade, but the center is growing demand for the best Angus beef. And under the leadership of Dee Wallencheck, Director of Marketing Education at Certified Angus Beef, the center has evolved into a hub for beef innovation. The idea for our culinary center came from our Masters of Brand Advantages program. We had launched the program, it's a three week training program and one whole week is focused on meat cuts. And we were actually hosting it at Ohio State University. And while we were there, we knew that the program was gonna have a lot of momentum and a lot of great return on investment. And we just had the idea, you know, instead of packing up and renting a facility, what if we held and found a facility in Worcester where we could bring the experience and bring our customers to Worcester and then be able to expose them to a lot more of the experts that we have on staff at Certified Angus Beef versus just two or three that were maybe able to travel off site. And next thing you know, we bought a restaurant and turned it into a culinary center. When customers visit the Education and Culinary Center, they get a really cool experience. We want to make sure that they have the chance to be hands-on and experience our product so they can step into the meat lab and do some cutting with our meat scientists. They can cook alongside of our chefs. They can taste, sample, learn about our cuts. We break it down to the numbers. What is the profitability of each item? Here we make the product as the focal point. And if a customer can go home with two or three new ideas on how they can keep beef competitively on the menu, maybe they can add beef to an appetizer section, to a lunch section where they didn't have it before. The Culinary Center is just at its sixth birthday or sixth anniversary, and I think the thing that have evolved the most is our experience. When we first opened the center, we knew that we were gonna break down some sides of beef. I don't know that we even knew how critical that experience would be to what people wanted to get out of their time here. Since we opened, we we started with a really small meat lab area. We built on, expanded, and have our own dedicated meat lab, which allows us to have just a lot more interaction. We can have six sides of beef and 20 people breaking down some sides. It gets kind of crazy, but it's a lot of fun. The more cuts we can sell, the more demand that we can create, the more dollars ultimately that we can drive back to the Angus ranchers that are raising this product every day. At the Culinary Center, no two days are the same. You never know who may be in for a visit. 
Baton Rouge chef and Cajun cuisine expert John Foles is here for the first time to learn from the CAB culinary team. So what you learn here is you kind of get a slap in the face gently uh, to say, wow, I didn't really think about that. I want to start to take that prime rib off and I think to myself, why hadn't I used that on my menus in a while? Or when they say they see the trimmings coming off of the brisket and they talk about braising that or grinding it or corning it, I said, wow, you know, that's a technique I probably should use. How can you present something really beautifully on the plate that we can make money on? Well, we don't have to sell primal cuts. They sell themselves. But when my customers are asking me to take ground meat, underutilized cuts, braising methods, and creating beautiful dishes, they're all looking for the same thing. Quality product, well presented at low cost. What better place to find it than right here? I was really pleased today to see a whole animal because today I, it's so distressing to know that most people don't know where meat cuts come from. We've been removed from this process for so many years that this is really the only place you can get it. Culinary schools aren't teaching this, but yet to come here and talk to experts about not only how to cut it, but how's the animal raised? Now, not only the humane approach to it, but the quality. So I wish every chef, I wish every owner, I wish every CEO who has anything to do with restaurants and concern about quality and education of staff, I wish they could get a ticket here.